This is just for YouTube. Parang summary na to sa 1 to 4. Ang YouTube lang to. Huwag kang masyadong ma-stress sa quality mo. Huwag kang masyadong ma-stress sa gano'ng ka-sharp yung videos mo. Because by the end of the day, as they said, content or story is king. I mean, sa akin nga, mas mahalaga pa yung audio ko from time to time kesa sa video quality ko. And... Teka lang. Pag-giveaway ko na lang kaya to. Okay, so when I started YouTube, I was shooting at 1080p because limited ako sa camera ko which was the Canon M50. Well, it had 4K but with a huge crop. Now, late last year, around September, nag-upgrade ako sa Sony A7C which is a full-frame camera from Sony that can shoot 4K with no crop. So in this video, we're gonna do a comparison between 4K versus 1080p and why you should just shoot 1080p for YouTube. But before that, wag kayang ano, gusto ko lang talaga mag-floral ngayon. I'm just gonna show you a short, well, hindi siya masyadong short. I'm just gonna show you a sequence of me making coffee. Tingnan nyo, observe and which is which, kung ano yung 1080p and ano yung 4K and ano tong video na to, itong talking head na to, kung 4K ba to or 1080p. Ipapakita ko sa inyo yung sequence ngayon and then later on, papakita ko ulit kung which one's the 4K and which one's the 1080p and kung may nakikita ba talaga kayong malaking difference na gustong gusto nyo talaga mag 4K and itong talking head na to is just in 10 no? Ano ba to? 1080p 4K. Here is I, me, myself, and I making some coffee with some 1080p footages and 4K footages. Enjoy! Yung sound design to. So now let's start. That was just the intro of the video. I'm here to prove to you guys my point na hindi talaga kailangan ng 4K sa YouTube. Well, overall, quality, 4K is better, let's admit that. But for YouTube, that is not necessary at all. And I'm gonna give you five reasons why you should just shoot in 4, not in 4K, but in 1080p dito sa YouTube. And reason number one, it is not audience friendly because 90% of you guys maybe 80 I'm just exaggerating 80 80% 80 of you guys are just watching through your phone you're not watching through a 4k monitor or a 5 8 K TV and whatnot. By the end of the day, majority of you guys is cellphone lang yung ginagamit nyo and you would not see a big difference kung ano ba talaga yung 1080p and ano yung 4K. So that's reason number one, 4K is not that audience friendly. Okay, so reason number two, the obvious, the very obvious because 4K hurts your hard drives or in general, the file size of a 4K footage versus a 1080p is just out of this world. Before, I was shooting 1080p, yung end product or yung exported video ko sa YouTube, roughly mga 5 to 7 minutes is just nasa 600, 800 MB. And now, my 5 minute video, at least 5 minute video sa YouTube exported at 4K is now roughly at least, how many times should I say at least? At least 1.3 to 1.5 gigs. Tapos yung hard drive pa ngayon, hindi pa masyadong mura. That's reason number two is the obvious, the file size of 4K is just unreasonable if you're just doing YouTube videos. Reason number three naman was that, is it 
Reason number two or three. Bas- reason number three naman is the internet connection. Kasi if you're shooting 4K, meaning sobrang grabe yung buffer or yung parang download speed. Kung baga kung nanonood ka ng 4K videos dito sa YouTube. And not everyone, especially dito sa Pinas, has the fastest internet connection. Kasi ako dati, hindi pa ako fiber. I don't have a 4K monitor. Sinubukan ko mag, mag, mag-stream ng 4K sa YouTube. And it takes a little while talaga bago mag load yung entire video or even just a minor gap magbabuffer talaga siya so that's reason number three slow internet connection dito sa Pinas not everyone has access to fiber and whatnot so yun reason number four out of five so malapit na tayo matapos is 1080p is easier to edit especially if you are using Adobe Premiere Pro like me and given the fact na medyo okay na okay na yung build ko for video editing well even for 4K yung GPU ko lang talaga yung problema baka naman kung sinong gusto mag sponsor you get my point pag nag edit ka ng 4K especially sa Adobe Premiere if your computer or your build is not that capable of 4K editing is it is very, very stressful. Ako, when I use or when I edit 4K footages on Adobe Premiere Pro, I usually, probably 80% of the time, prino-proxy ko siya to have a smooth edit. If not, grabe talaga yung playback speed mo. Kahit naka 1.8 or 1.16 na yung playback quality mo and whatnot. Grabe pa rin siya maglalag. So that's reason number 4. 1080p is easier and smoother to edit whichever or whatever software you are using. Hirap talaga sa 4K. Bigla na lang magkakrash yung premiere mo. Patay lang. And the last reason why you should not shoot in 4K because this us, itong ginagawa natin if you're watching this, well, dinisclaim ko in the beginning of the video that this is just for YouTube. Parang summary na to sa 1 to 4. Ang YouTube lang to. Huwag kang masyadong ma-stress sa quality mo. Huwag kang masyadong ma-stress sa gano'ng ka-sharp yung videos mo. Because by the end of the day, as they said, content or story is key. I mean, sa akin nga, mas mahalaga pa yung audio ko from time to time kesa sa video quality ko. So, don't stress about 4K. Medyo, I could see people na stress talaga na gusto mag 4K. If you are doing YouTube stuffs, only settle with 1080p. But, if you are doing professionals or merong certain request si client for you guys na gusto-gusto talaga niya na 4K yung videos na gamitin mo, then, wala ka na magagawa eh di mag 4K ka talaga tapos proxy mo na lang sa Adobe so that's 5 reasons why you should just shoot 1080p for YouTube videos so I think that is it for today's episode everyone gusto ko lang pasalamat pala kay Sir Gary Seneta for this topic because I've been talking or I've been thinking about doing this video for the longest time dami kong pending sa product reviews and I cannot be myself 100% kung nagpa product reviews lang ako so namiss ko to and I hope namiss nyo rin ako God bless stay safe and teka lang Pag-giveaway ko na lang kaya to. Pag-giveaway ko to ha. Ito. Itong TT Artisans 35mm 1.4. Kasi nag-post ako sa Facebook and majority of the people, well not everyone saw it. Konting-konti lang nakakita and they are probably not that interested. May nagpasa ng output sa mga 4 to 5. Pero I don't want to continue that challenge kumbaga kung konting-konti lang yung sumasali. So just subscribe, like, and share. Like my Facebook page and we're gonna draw the winner of this one in... I don't know. Two weeks, I guess. So yeah, TT Artisan 35mm 1.4 Sony mount. So Sony users, Jan, sayo na to. Alright. God bless. Stay safe. Peace.